Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is an exciting one for me. Uh, I finally pulled the trigger on a camper. It was the one that I mentioned um, in my prior uh, update video. And uh, I'm pretty stoked on it. It's, uh, I think it's a good fit for the Tundra and what I wanna do. It's a little bit rough, so it's gonna be um, maybe a, you know, a bit of a project for me, do a few improvements, clean some things up. Um, but I think it's got good bones. It's gonna be a good foundation for what I wanna do and I think it's gonna work out perfect for what I have in mind, at least now. You know, obviously my needs are always changing and evolving, but I think this is a good step. Um, currently got about a two and a half hour drive home. Uh, we're heading up and over the mountain pass right now. If I get to somewhere where I can pull off and show you guys what this looks like, I will do that. Probably won't pop it up. We'll wait until I get home to do that. If I can't find somewhere to stop, then I'll just catch you guys up when I get home and uh, we can open it up and take a look. But I'm super excited to show you guys and maybe talk about some of my plans. All right, so we've made it back home. Camper made it here, truck did good. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and take a look. All right. You guys are looking at a mid-2000s four-wheel camper Eagle. Really, really hard to find these. These were built for actually vehicles like my Tacoma and first-gen Tundras, so they're really light. I think these are under, under 800 pounds dry, which is super, super light um, and probably around nine-something loaded. I think it may even be under... Um, 700 pounds dry so very compact luckily um, since these are built for smaller trucks luckily this one has plates to extend the jacks out because this barely barely clears this truck you know these are designed for smaller pickups so these won't be on it full time this jack's got our jack mounts got a little bit of play in it so I got to address that and reseal it um, plans for the exterior at the moment are probably gonna replace some of the hardware uh, with some newer clean um, stuff you know got a little bit of surface rust on some of these latches nothing too bad um, this did come from the other side of the mountains so it's much more damp humid and wet over there uh, the rear door needs a little bit of love this is uh, just a plastic window and uh, it's got a little crack right here, but it's it's leaking and it's faded. So I'm gonna buy some new Lexan and probably replace that. You know, a couple little cosmetic blemishes and stuff here and there to be expected. This is like a 20 year, 20 year old camper. So it's uh, seen um, definitely some use. So, but yeah, this is kind of the look at the outside canvas is in pretty good shape um it's either been somebody remade it recently or it's kind of a factory replacement but it's in pretty good shape just needs a cleaning and condition I'll pop around to the other side i think it just fits on the truck really well um but driver's side no window or anything which i actually like because i'm going to go ahead and probably put a max tracks um mount like an expedition essentials one on the side most likely and maybe a spot for rota packs or not i can't decide more windows on this side of course and then this light works all the electronics work um speed capacity to the tailgate here here this gas tank gas tank is a uh, diesel for the diesel heater I don't know if I'd really love this. I might end up replacing it, but yeah, that's what currently holds the diesel for the diesel heater. Let me take a peek inside. All right, so this is what the inside looks like. It's a pretty simple build out. The guy that I got it from bought it as a empty shell. So it just had the bed platform in it and then he built everything that's inside of it. So in this side, we got the diesel heater. Up there is the battery, there's an inverter. You can see in the distance there is the solar pop up inside here got a nice little table seating area and then yeah there's the 
solar charge controller and the uh, just a little area to plug in some stuff <clears throat> and then sitting here on the inside so you have seating across there We've got seating on this side of course um, pop over here have your little sink here on the interior just a hand pump sink a little spot to set a stove if you want and then a tank for gray water and fresh water um, mattress right now is pushed all the way in so this actually slides out all the way to the ends there and I think it's like a full queen-size bed basically so a lot of space um, I like the the north to south sleeping that way nobody's having to crawl over um, anybody got your standard windows and everything of course just like a four-wheel camper um, got two lights over here and then a fan um, so yeah the insides uh it's in okay shape um, I'm probably gonna redo a lot of this over time and it needs some issues addressed like that's uh, some water damage right there so I got to track down where that's coming from that front panel up there needs to be rebuilt because uh, it's also suffering from some water damage but outside of that it's got good bones it's gonna be a good um, it's gonna be a good uh, yeah like a I don't know platform for what I want to do it's got the screen door on the back which is nice and also has these really nice denim curtains that I'm gonna be um, replacing at some point so yeah it's in uh, it's in okay shape I would say probably to what's to be expected for this age so yeah that's a, a look at the inside of it and I was just vacuuming and cleaning it up probably gonna end up replacing the floors for sure they're a little a little worn um, probably go with something like a laminate or um, maybe even something peel and stick something that's not gonna absorb any water but yeah all right, so that's really just a quick look at the camper. Um, just got home a little bit ago, so I'm pretty tired. It was a uh, was up at about four this morning and left at five to go over and grab it, and come back. So about seven hours in the car driving today, on not enough sleep. So I'm pretty beat, but I'm super stoked for kind of the next chapter, getting out in this thing and using it, and also just. Uh, refreshing it and cleaning it up um, fixing some of the issues with it and probably ultimately redoing the interior but that's going to be down the road a little bit at least wait for the weather to get a little bit warmer because most of the work is going to be happening outside on this one but yeah just a quick little video wanted to show you guys what i got on the day that i got it definitely be more to come on this uh, leave comments below let me know what you guys want to see if you have any questions about this um, or why I chose it plan to do you know a follow-up video more in the future once I've been able to use it a few times and really get a feel for it so yeah this is just kind of an introduction video and then hopefully here in uh, the next week or two I can get out and uh, use it for the first time so really looking forward to that uh, thank you guys for tuning in uh, you should definitely subscribe, especially if you like DIY stuff. There's going to be a lot of that with this camper. Uh, but until then, catch you guys in the next video.